Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this uh, video, we will crochet the owl table runner, and uh, this is made uh, with fillet crochet technique. So, fillet means a net or mesh in French, and uh, we can create this grid like pattern using just uh, chains and double crochet stitches. And following the image chart, it is easy to make. And I have quite a few other fillet crochet table runner designs to crochet, so make sure to check them out too. My table runner measures about 15 and a half inches long and eight and a half inches wide. I'm using size 10 crochet thread. Uh, this is on Lydia's. My main color, this light gray, is called silver. And one ball has 350 yards in it. One ball is enough. It is 100% mercerized cotton. And my contrast color for the one round of edge I'm using also Aunt Lydia's thread size 10. This green color is called Sage. Crochet hook is size 1.75 millimeters. And let's get started. And here is my chart. It has 29 blocks and 55 rows. And this one is symmetrical pattern, meaning that we can read the chart either from right to left or left to right. The amount of blocks is always the same. And fillet crochet consists of two types of blocks or squares that make up the grid pattern. White squares are called open blocks and they're made with uh, two chains and one double crochet. Uh, and the black squares are called solid blocks and they're made with three double crochet stitches. And because each block consists of three stitches and we have 29 blocks, we have to start with uh, 3 times 29, which is 87 chains, plus 5 for the first open block. So uh, we will start with 92 chains. And making a slip knot with my main color thread. Now chain 92. And looking at the chart, the first row is all open blocks, 29. To start the first row, we first have to double crochet in eighth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one. And this is going to be our first beginning open block. The two chains here are the bottom of the block, then three chains are the side, and two chains top. And now we continue with open blocks, uh, first chain two, skip two chains, and double crochet in the next chain. Chain two, skip two chains, one, two, Double crochet in the next. Chain two, skip two, double crochet, and repeat. And 
you should have 29 blocks. First row is made and the chart shows that the second and third rows are also just open blocks. And now to start each new row, we first have to chain five for the beginning open block, then turn and just double crochet in the next double crochet. This is the beginning open block and now chain two and double crochet in next double crochet. Chain two and double crochet. So these are the open blocks from now on. And continue. We will finish the row together. And for the last open block, chain two. And now we have to count, find that third chain from the stitch here. One, two, three, and double crochet in it. And from here, starting the new, uh, third row, again, chain five. Turn and keep doing the open blocks, double crochet, next stitch. Chain two. And again to finish the last block, count third chain here. One, two, and three. Double crochet in it. And on row four, we're going to add some solid blocks here. So it starts with seven open blocks. Then we'll do one solid block, one open block, again one solid, one open, one solid. Then we do one, uh, five open blocks. And again, solid, open, solid, open, solid. And finish with seven open blocks. And starting the same way with five chains, turn and double crochet in next double crochet. Second open block and we're making seven here. Three. And the first solid block. To make solid block above the open block, like here, we have to make two double crochets in that two chain space and one in the next double crochet. Next is open block, so again we chain two and double crochet, next stitch. And now again, solid block two double crochets in chain space one in the next stitch one open block chain two double crochet and again solid block two double crochets and third one in the stitch now we're going to do five open blocks. After five open blocks, we repeat the part with solid blocks. So first make one solid block. Then open block. Solid block, then 
one open block and one more solid block chains two double crochets one in the next stitch and now when you count you have seven blocks left so we finish this row with seven open blocks next is row five it starts again with seven open blocks and then we're going to do five solid blocks one open one solid one open one solid one open five solid and again seven open blocks And to make a solid block above solid block on previous row, we just have to double crochet one in each stitch here. Next solid block is above open block. So here we do again two double crochets in chain space and one in that stitch. Next again above solid block here we double crochet in each stitch three above open block double crochet two in chain space one in a stitch and one more solid block above solid double crochet one in each next three now one open block and one solid block one open one solid one more open here and now you do the five solid blocks again so one first above solid block second here third one here fourth here and fifth and then finish the row with seven open blocks and row six here again start with seven open blocks and then it's going to be seven solid blocks one open seven solid and seven open i did seven open here now seven solid blocks and the way i like to make sure um, i have i keep track with the stitches i don't skip any or miss any is um, I count all the double crochets on solid blocks so if I need to make seven I multiply with three so 21 and I also count this first one which is actually the end of the last open block but I add it so that just to know how many double crochets total I need to make in this part so 21 plus one so with seven solid blocks I need to make 20 two double crochets so this is just my way of uh, counting the stitches to make sure i don't miss any i did 22 double crochets here for uh, the end of open block and seven solid blocks next is one open block and again seven solid blocks so starting with counting this first one one again make 22 so one 
two, three, and four, five, six, seven, row seven, starts with eight open blocks, then six solid blocks, one open, six solid, and eight open. I did eight open and now six solid. So it's gonna be until the end of this part. But if you want to count six times three, 18 plus one, this first one already made. So 19 for six solid blocks. Two, three, four, after 19 double crochets, there's one open block. And here again, it's six solid blocks. So starting with that first double crochet, which is the end of the open block, again, 19. One, two, three, four, 19 double crochets and now here we have to do an open block and to make it above solid blocks we chain two and then we just skip these next two double crochets double crochet in the next and now you can do seven more so total eight open blocks row eight here first is nine open blocks and here it's 11 solid blocks and again 9 open blocks. And after 9 open blocks to count my 11 solid blocks here. So this is uh, 3 times 11, 33 and plus 1 which is already made here. So I'm going to count 34 double crochets. This is 1 two, three, four, five, so finished, 34 double crochets, and next is open block, again, above solid block, we have to chain two, then skip two, double crochet in the next, and make the rest of the open blocks, again, nine here. row nine here repeats exactly the row uh the eighth row so nine open blocks 11 solid blocks and nine open blocks and row 10 starts with eight open blocks five solid blocks three open five solid and eight open i did eight open and now five solid i'm going to count again multiply with three so it's 15 plus one and the, the first one is already made so i need to make 16 i'm counting one two three four five six so when we have all these solid blocks on previous row and now we have to uh, make some open blocks here then it's uh, important to count these double crochet stitches i made 16 here in this part for five solid blocks next is three open blocks chain two skip two stitches double crochet chain two skip two double crochet chain two skip two double crochet and again five solid blocks counting again 16 double crochet stitches with first one made so one two three 
14, 15, 16, and five solid blocks made here. And now finish the row with eight open blocks. And next is row 11. So more solid blocks here. So we start with four open blocks, then one solid, two open, five solid, one open, three solid, one open, five solid, two open, one solid, four open. Next is row 12, starts with three open blocks, then two solid, two open, four solid, one open, five solid, one open, four solid, two open, two solid, three open. row 13 here start with two open blocks then three solid one open four solid one open three solid one open three solid one open four solid one open three solid and two open
Next row 14, start with two open blocks and then seven solid blocks, one open, three solid, one open, one solid, one open, three solid, one open, seven solid and two open. And now just uh, continue with the rows and uh, follow the chart until you have completed all of them. The last three rows here again are all open blocks and then we'll make the edge. Here is my finished owl. I already cut off the main color thread and fasten off and let's now just make this uh, last round of edge and using the contrast color thread I'm going to join it here in this upper left corner so turn your work sideways and then this last open block how i join it is insert your hook through the open block and from behind insert it through the slip knot of your second color pull it through from under and then make five chains two three four five first two chains count as first half double crochet and then three chains next single crochet in third chain from hook one two three and then half double crochet inserting hook in that next open block here then chain three and single crochet in that third chain from hook again half double crochet in that next open block and this is going to repeat now chain three single crochet in that first chain or third from the hook half double crochet inserting hook through next open block 
chain three, single crochet, the third chain, half double crochet, next open block. And now repeat this until the next corner. We'll make the corner together. And I'm in this uh, corner open block here now. I made, made this last half double crochet here. And here I'm going to make the three chains again with a single crochet. And now make another half double crochet here again again three chains and single crochet and one more half double crochet in the same block and then continue the same with a three chain single crochet and then half double crochet in that next block. So continue this now all around. When you get to the next corner block here, again, you'll do three half double crochets in it. And then always three chains and single crochet in between. And finish all the way and we'll make this last beginning corner here together. So I finished the whole round. Here is my beginning open block. I'm going to make another three chains single crochet so I already have one half double crochet here I'm gonna make the second one three chains single crochet and so we started the round with these uh, chains. The first two chains counted as first half double crochet. So after this last single crochet, I'm going to find that second chain and slip stitch to finish. And we're done with edge, fasten off, cut off. And this is how wavy and curly my piece looks after finishing. Next, I'm going to block it. First, I'm going to make it wet and then stretch it out on blocking mats and attaching with pins. I'm going to put pins in each of these single crochets. And I'll show you uh, some pictures next how I Block my table runner, hopefully it's helpful to you. And here is my finished owl table runner. It's looking great after blocking. And I hope you have fun making your own. You will find the written pattern and the chart on my blog. The link is in video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting!